What is my veggies? My name is VTR and welcome back to another movie review and today we are going to be reviewing uh, Insidious. I decided to tackle this franchise because one, I need a new franchise to tackle and I thought this was one and it also lines up with Halloween Horror Nights because that is an Insidious house this year but that, that's pretty much the reason why. So today we're going to be reviewing this movie and let's go ahead and get into the syn synopsis shall we? Um, parents take drastic measures when it seems like their, their new house is haunted and their comatose son is possessed by a malevolent entity. That's the synopsis that the uh, Rotten Tomatoes gives me. So, um, so going into this movie, I didn't know what to expect. I know, like, it was like talked about a lot back when it came out. Uh, this movie came out back before I really got like fully into horror the way I am now. Uh, so, uh, but going into it, uh, the fact that what was it? Um, James Wan, who had worked on the uh, on the first Saw movie, I do believe, uh, and uh, and he worked on some of the other ones too. I'm, uh, but going into this, like that was already like a uh, plus for me. Um, and I was very, uh, interested to see what this movie was having to offer, because I heard it's scary and everything, and so I sat down, and I watched it, and it was alright. It was pretty good. I, I, I think it was a, de a decent little horror flick. Um, it takes its concept and does, like, a little, uh, like, goes, is a little more unique with it. Than I've seen with this franchise. Oh, not this franchise, like these types of movies. So it's very interesting. And uh, it does feel like the first bit of the movie and the second half of the movie are kind of two completely different films. Um, and the way they, they, they do implement some comedy into here at points, which I feel like is a little out of place, even though one time it did make me chuckle. Um, but I don't think this movie really needed that. Obviously, I can say the main, uh, couple in the movie, oh my goodness, their chemistry is amazing. Like, it is, it is, it is so well written and so well acted. Like, that was one of the highlights of the movie for me. Uh, there were some really tense moments, uh, in the film, and there were some actually pretty, um, well-timed jump scares. Um, so that was pretty neat. Um, um, the designs of the creatures and every, uh, creature and everything in this is just, it's kind of fine and generic. When I saw it, I was like, Darth Maul? <laughs> it looked like Darth Maul! Um, uh, but, but that thought, well, I don't feel like this movie, I think this movie shines with its atmosphere. It, ha it does the atmosphere very well. But besides that, I don't think there's the movie's not fantastic or anything. It's it's just okay. I don't think this movie is really um It's like, I don't know, mine's blinking at the moment, but like movie's not one hundred percent I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't know, I feel like half, I go, it, 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 the movie is, uh, is, is, I'd say it's good, but also it's just like, there's not much, besides the few, um, good, the, besides the atmosphere, the few good time jump scares, and, um, and the acting, uh, is probably like, uh, the best parts of the movie. Uh, everything else, I don't really care that much for uh not that any of it's really bad like, yeah the comedy seems a little forced that but uh, that gets thrown in here at one point when these other characters show up uh but i will say um 
Let me make sure I am getting uh, this right. Uh, Lynn Shea, is that how you say it? Uh, she did a fantastic job in this movie. When she comes on screen and does her part, um, um, steals the show, in my opinion. But the, but the rest of the actors do a really good job with the film. And, yeah, that's really... I don't have much else to really say to drag this review out. Um, but I, I, th I do think the movie was very uh like yeah i'm seeing like a re uh, um the review here on ron tomatoes that i agree with uh a shaky finale but besides that it's pretty scary like a haunted house thrill ride i think that's a i think that's a perfect way to describe the movie actually um because the movie's just it's scary and the atmosphere is good, but like I said, it does have like that review said, and I agree with it. Uh, has a shaky final act, uh, but like like I said, the main thing for me with this movie is its atmosphere. It is its it is its characters. It is the acting, which I think is done. Some of the like uh, there's like a reveal that happens in the movie where I'm like. Okay, did we need this? Did we need this to be in the film? Did we need, like, oh, yeah, this happens, so let's talk about that we need to bring this connection in. That, I felt like, was a little unneeded, but besides that, I think the movie is all right. I think it's, I think it's, um, like I said, it's got a good atmosphere. Um, personally, I don't think it's anything grand, or anything. Um, uh, odd critics give this movie a uh, a um, 67 on Rotten Tomatoes, and audiences give it a 62. So that kind of puts the um, audience and critics kind of on the same playing field when it comes to this movie, and I kind of agree. And I'm. I actually am fighting with myself what to give a rating on, but the only thing I can think to do that makes the most logical sense for this movie's rating, I have to give it a two and a half out of five. Now, I know that sounds bad. That's right down the middle. And that's genuinely just how I feel about this movie. I don't think it's grand. I think it's good and creepy and uh, duh, and has good atmosphere and acting. But overall, I think it's just there. I enjoyed the first film. This first, I haven't seen the other ones yet, but I enjoyed it for what it was. And I, I can't say I wouldn't recommend it because it does have some good moments. But overall, it just, that final act does bring it down a little bit for me, which I do think this even, I think the sequel does follow the same family. So I'm curious to see how they follow this up. Uh, if it's going to be worse or anything, I don't know. But I'm very curious to see. Uh, but that's really all I have to say for this review, guys. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. Uh, do you like this movie? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Uh, let me know down in the comment section because that's uh, that's my thought process there. Um, um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see each and every one of you guys in the next video. Bye!